Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna present a new sensor, a new digital sensor that is BMG160. To have a more knowledge, a more insight for this sensor, let's have a look over the website that is controlleverything.com and here we have to search for this sensor that is BMG160. Now let's see what we got for this sensor. So this is a 16-bit tri-axle gyroscope sensor and the range as you can see from 125 to plus minus 2000 degrees per second. Now these are some of its small features and you can also add to cart or you can purchase this sensor from this website. Well, now I'm going to interface the sensor, the gyroscope sensor BMG160 with an Arduino Nano and for that I require a code. So go to resource tab and here comes the Arduino code sample. You can download and get the Arduino code sample as a zip file from here and also you have the opportunity and privilege to get the code from github.com where we have our own official repository that is control everything community. Now let's have a connections part for which we need some hardware. Let's have a look over that. This here is our sensor that is BMG160. Now to make a connection among the sensor we need an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now to make connections among the sensor and the Arduino Nano and to make further connections with other I2C devices and make this connection a lot easier, we need this I2C sheet. Now this is available on the website controleverything.com and gently place the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield like this. Now we have our connection. Well now to make a connection among the sensor and the I2C shield we need this connecting cable. Now make this connection and make sure that while making this connection the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly we have to follow this rule for the I2C sheet like this. Now last thing we have to power up our Arduino Nano and here comes a mini USB cable into the picture. Now just power it up and insert it over the power jack and light it up. Hence we are done with the connections part. Now we need a code, an Arduino code to have it's explaining it's working and how practically it works. Let's have a look over that. Now what do we need as we are done with the connections part is a code, Arduino code so that we can have an interfacing of the sensor with respect to an Arduino Nano. So for that first log in to github.com and here we have to search in for the repository that is control everything community which you are able to see on my screen get over it and here we have to search for the sensor for which we have to be interfacing with the sensor uh, the code now this is the Arduino code we are looking forward to explore but before that let's have a view over the instructions now we have to download and install the Arduino software on our local machine and this is the link as you can see on my screen this is the link which will help us to guide the screen and all the relevant information is being provided here as you can see we can download the Arduino software as a Windows, Mac, Linux operating system and here all the re procedure, recommended procedure being provided here. So you can follow this. Now get back to the code as you can notice and it's a .ir extension file. Now the first thing you notice in the code that we have included wire.h library and all the different functionalities come with it. Now we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x68 and in the void setup function we have initialized i2c communication as master along with serial communication with the power rate equal to 9600. Next we come to the writing section part where we have written commands, we have selected range register that is 0x0f and here we have the full scale range fsr equal to plus minus 2000 degrees per second dps and the writing command is 0x80. Next we want to select the bandwidth register that is 0x10 and the bandwidth set is 200 hertz and the writing command for that is 0x04. So this is the delay. This is the delay as you can notice. Uh, this will settle down and because we have sent some commands and the sensor will note it out. Now in the void loop function we have to select the gyrometric data register that is 0x02 and from this very register we have requested 6 bytes of data for gyroscope x, y and z axis. As you can notice now the values are being calculated, saved and after that we have the conversion of the data as you can notice. This is according to the formulas or the details being provided in the data sheet for BMG160. So as we are done with the calculations and the writing and the reading part, now 
the time comes to display the results what we have been calculating now as you can see we have the displayed the results for rotation in x y and z axis and as you can see you can have a go through loop or for the code again you can have a generalized look now what do we want is to show the working and the practicality of this code along with the sensor so let's proceed further now we have to check the practicality of this code and let's see how it works so for the working part copy this entire Arduino code and open up the Arduino and here we go as you can see paste this entire code and save it as BMG160 for the reference and now verify and compile the code as you can notice now it's been compiling and done now upload the code sometime it takes a lot to upload and let's see oh great it's done uploading now we have to check for the serial monitor so that we can have our output on the display so here we go and we have the x y z axis of rotation as you can notice now when i try to rotate it there will be a change in all three axes of the rotation and continuously doing so you will notice it down so this is how arduino code works with this sensor for an arduino nano why not we have a look over the benefit and the features and the reason why we use this sensor the applications of course let's have a look over that so just now we have seen the working of the sensor BMG160 the codes and explanation and a lot more for this sensor the BMG160 is a 3 axis angular ridge sensor that is made up of a surface micro machine sensing element and an evolution ASIC the BMG160 is designed to meet requirements for consumer applications such as image stabilization that is DSC and camera phone, gaming, image stabilization, gesture recognition and pointing devices. It is capable to measure angular rates in three perpendicular room dimensions, the X, Y and Z axis and to provide the corresponding output signals. Now this answer is available and can be purchased from this very site that is controleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab and after that you can download it. Now you can have also the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now as I just want to make sure that in case if you want to understand any part of this video or any issue you can check me or you put your queries on controleverything.com and you can post any comments on the community page of this website. Now for articles and blog like this you can check me on instructivus.com and to pursue more videos like this you can subscribe our YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well and you like this video and have a good one of yourself. Thanks a lot for the watching. Goodbye.